Welcome to Headline Focus here on Core Politics with me, Rob Double. As you can see, we're in the heart of the European Parliament in Brussels today, filming for the Inside Europe. Uh, make sure you check out the latest episode. That'll be coming out uh, later this evening. But let's have a look in the meantime at what's making the news back at home in the UK. So to start off with, let's have a look at the Telegraph. Now, International uh, Development Minister Priti Patel is in deep water with Theresa May and indeed Downing Street uh, after effectively it was revealed that she held two unauthorised meetings with senior Israeli politicians without telling Number 10 or telling the Foreign Office, which some say is a, it breaks the ministerial code of conduct. Uh, now, she met with the Israeli Public Security Minister in September and indeed a week later met with the official, an official from the Foreign Ministry as well. Yesterday, she also admitted suggesting uh, to help, the UK could help, with working with the Israeli forces uh, in the occupied Golan Heights, which is significant because the UK doesn't actually recognise the Golan Heights as UK, uh, as Israeli territory. Uh, the Israeli has just basically claimed that territory for themselves. Uh, Downing Street says she hasn't broken ministerial conduct. However, there have been reports uh, this, uh, last night and indeed this morning as well that that might be changing in the next few hours. So keep a look out for that. Next up, now more from the uh, Paradise Papers. Prince Charles today is in the news. Now, as it is reported in The Guardian that Prince Charles uh, is a state with invested millions of pounds in offshore funds and companies uh, and made a big profit on a stake uh, in his friend's company. Uh, the prince lobbied on a policy that could have increased the value of his shares within that company as well. Uh, the Duchy of Lancaster, which controls the royal Sir family's uh, estate, says the Prince Charles had no direct involvement in the investment decisions and never spoke on the topics purely because of his own business interests and his uh, investments in companies. The critics have obviously saying that this is a clear conflict of interest. Uh, more lines will be coming out of that today as well, uh, particularly probably from the royal family uh, in terms of a response. Let's look in focus then at the main story which is happening in terms of Labour uh, and what's happened uh, in Wales particularly with the Labour Party. So a senior Welsh politician Carl Sargent has, was found dead uh, yesterday days after losing his job as Cabinet Secretary for Communities and Children uh, on Friday. He's also been suspended by the Welsh Labour Party. He's been accused of sexual harassment by a number of women uh, and he's believed to have taken his own life at least that's in the reports you can see here in the Eyes newspaper and The Sun. Uh, the Sun again reporting he never actually received the exact allegations against him but that he begged the party to reveal what the claims actually were. He said uh, and he's quoted as saying I look forward to returning to government once my name has been cleared. One more story then comes from the Labour Council tax uh, rather actually to do with the Paradise Papers uh, as well. Labour councils are using offshore companies to avoid paying tax. Uh, now two Labour authorities avoided £12 million in stamp duty, this is according to reports by the Times, uh, in the purchase of commercial properties. Now obviously the claims here is of hypocrisy. Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, has hinted that the Queen should apologise if she avoided tax in the revelations that came out this week. John Macdonald, the Shadow Chancellor, has said that corporations were morally obscene for dodging obligations that the rest of us fulfil. Um, the Council has said though that it has had not intended to ever avoid stamp duty and that it is indeed not illegal what their practice, the practice that they've done. But interesting lines and that probably more coming out later on today. But that's it uh, from me here in Brussels. You can find all the latest on what we're doing here on Core Politics on our Facebook page and on Twitter right here. But from me, Rob Double and all the team at Core London, both in the UK and here in Brussels, have a fantastic start to your day.